In today's video I'll be showing you how you can turn a realistic video into an animation style video. As you can see by the examples on the screen, this is the kind of effect that you will achieve using free AI tools. So the first thing that we want to do is head to our first page which is Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI is a free to use image generation service. They of course do have upgrades and paid features but you can do all of this for free using free credits. Uh, on your very first account. So head over to Leonardo AI and you want to create an account by clicking this button right here or in my case when I click create account it will just log me into my account that's already existing. Once you're in you want to find a style that is right for you. Now of course this video is about animation style so we're going to use this one right here called 3D animation style. And the reason that we're going over to here is because we need a reference image. We need an image to show other AI services the kind of look that we are trying to achieve and going to go for. So we're going to click generate with this model. So once it's loaded you will be met with this screen here. So we're going to use a prompt and we're going to create an image. So I'm going to say a woman looking into the camera and I'm going to say black hair Disney style and I'm going to click on four images to generate because it will give us a better chance of finding one that we like and I'm going to click generate. Okay so that took about 22 seconds and it has created four images and we're going to go through these so we have that one there this one's pretty cool very Disney looking we have another one here with a slightly longer hair. Obviously the hair doesn't really matter too much uh, because we mainly want this for the face and the overall style of the image. And then we have this one here. So I quite like that one for the face. It's uh, very clear and crisp. I believe that is the best one. Yes it is. So we're going to use this one and we're going to click the little download image icon here and you'll see a little download. I'm using Chrome so I can see the download box up here but whatever browser you use it will go into your downloads folder. So now we're done with Leonardo AI. We need to head over to another service called Runway ML. So here we are at Runway ML. Now Runway ML will help you to create a video into the style that we like but it's certainly not the last tool that we're going to be using. We will be using another tool for more intricate details later on. But for this step we're going to need a video. So I'm going to head over to a website called pexels.com. So pexels.com is a website that gives you free stock images and videos and we're going to be using this to find a target video to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to click on videos and I'm going to type in uh, a woman looking at the cam. Maybe this one here the hair blowing and her looking at the camera. So I'm going to click download. Okay and there we go so that's now the video is now downloaded and now we're going to head over to Runway ML. So once again if you don't have an account you can click on try Runway for free. I do so I can just log in and here we are at the dashboard. So now what we can do is you want to click on this section here that says video to video. So once you're here what you want to do is you want to load or drag the video that you want to change into the little box right here. Now of course in our case it's this video that we downloaded off Pexels so I'm just going to load that in right now. Once you've dragged it in you will see a loading bar as you can see the loading bar goes pretty quick. It's only a small video only 50 megs so it shouldn't take too long. Okay so the video is now loaded uh, this took probably around 45 seconds from the moment that I dragged the video into the box. It then uploaded and now it's processed and showing the original video. Uh, the video can be a little bit laggy when you're playing it through their browser. But that's okay, we don't need the whole video anyway, just the first four seconds. So the next thing you want to do is when you head over to this section here, you want to upload the image that we created using Leonardo AI. So I'm going to click upload and select the image that we made. So the photo is now uploaded and as you can see we have the image that we created using Leonardo AI in the animation style as a style reference image. So you want to click that once 
and then down here click on preview styles and what that will do is it will create four styles that it will attempt to make the video in now you can see the styles down here one thing to note about runway ml is the quality is not very good but i will be showing you another service that we can use to try and increase and improve the quality of the face a little bit later so please stay tuned but for now what we can do is let's mess around with the strength a little bit and we'll do some more previews so this one i think is probably worse so let's try and increase to about 80. i'm also doing this to show you guys at home the difference between the strengths i think they might be quite similar this one is actually pretty good but i think it loses the disney kind of aspect that i went for with this but let's go with let's go with this one here yeah let's go with this one here so we're going to go generate video and then you just now have to wait until the generation's done and i will pause the video and come back when it is so as you can see the video has now been generated it took around a minute and a half roughly to do this four second video and like i said the quality it really isn't the best but you can still see that the hair is blowing shame about the eyes not really blinking like the original video does but that's okay this is just a test to show you guys how it works i'm sure what you will create will be so much better than this but now what we're going to do is want to download the video because we now need to upload this to a different service so to do that we've got a little icon here and we just click that once and it will download so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to a service called roop now roop many of you will probably know uh, but this is the google collab roop for changing faces in videos it's very very cool it's completely free it does require a google account but you don't need anything else other than that so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the first little box here the little uh, play button and you'll see a warning that says you know it's not authorized by google and that just means it's not created by google because it isn't it's created by a user on github but you can just click run anyway and let it run through the process and of course you click the little i'm not a robot you don't always get that box come up but if you do just click i'm not a robot and it will just start to continue so i'm going to pause the video again and wait for this to be completed so as you can see the first box is completed you can see that by the tick and it only took about a minute now you do get a warning that flashes up but you can just ignore it it doesn't mean anything and it has no reflection on what we're about to do and do not click the restart runtime because it will just try to do it again and you'll get the same error so once you've done that first box scroll down to the second box which is this one here download model and click the play button this should only take a few seconds now none of this is actually happening on your computer this is all happening on the google cloud or in this case it's called the collab um, so don't worry about that nothing is actually going to your computer it's also completely secure you can use any types of videos you want using this service it will just delete it once you close the window the session will just all be deleted anyway so it doesn't really matter so once that box is done now you've got the third and final box there are a few changes we need to make with this so over on this side you have a little icon which is a little folder icon you want to click that once and you will see the root directory of this uh, software called Roop, and we want to upload our photos and videos here that we want to change now to do that it's very very simple you can either click the plus and do upload to session storage or you can click your right mouse button and then click upload and that's what i'm going to do so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to upload the video that we created with runway ml and also the image that we created using leonardo ai okay so these are now uploading as you can see down here and these will disappear once they've uploaded so they are now there for us to use now with roop you want to try and keep uh, file names pretty simple so i'm just going to right click and i'm going to do rename and i'm going to call this source and i'm going to call the video target and the reason okay i'm going to click i'm a 
not a robot first and then I'm going to change it to target uh, that's just to keep it very very simple for us to remember which one's which so we're going so that, that one's already done so we're going to scroll down to deep fake and we're going to change these names here okay so target I'm going to change to target because that's what we called our file and our source we're going to change to source because once again that's what I called it just remember that the uh, file extension has to match so mp4 mp4 jpeg jpeg and the file name has to match and that is of course it, um, case sensitive so if you call it source with a capital S make sure that is reflected here everything else can stay the same the file output will be called swapped.mp4 you can call it you know whatever you like you can you know, any any name you want but I will just be leaving this as swapped and we're going to hit the big play button and we're going to let it do its thing it will take a few minutes so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done so the final box is done and as you can see over here we now have a file called swapped.mp4 so you've got to click the little dots there and you can click download or you can right click and click download and I will just play it straight from here and we'll see the result so as you can see it is a ton better than the original runway ML version which the face was very messed up it's not perfect of course it isn't we're still in quite an infant stage when it comes to AI video creation but I think this is very very cool and although it is only four seconds long if you did use the upgraded or paid version of runway ML you can make up to 15 seconds I believe uh, that is changing all the time but right now I believe it's 15 seconds of video so you could quite happily just with four generations create a full minute of video which I think is pretty cool so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any issues feel free to leave a comment the only issue that I will highlight before I go is sometimes using this will come up with an error saying that there was no face found in the source file now that just means that maybe the image you're using doesn't have a face that is easily recognizable or it could be perhaps you're using an image where the face is distorted or at an angle and the software just simply cannot find the face to be able to put it onto a video so always make sure that the face picture that you use is very clear and that the face is ideally facing towards you because then it knows exactly where both eyes and nose and mouth is etc to make the generation a lot better quality but also work better so thank you for watching once again i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's been of use and until next time i'll see you in the next video